Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Trigger PH, and we have the CUDA submachine gun gameplay for you guys today. And a little bit uh, about the weapon. The damage is at a 6 out of 20. The range is at a 11 out of 20. Fire rate's a 10 out of 20, and the accuracy is a 7 out of 20. And for a submachine gun, this is a pretty much the most evened out weapon of the weapon so far. There is a classified one, which I we don't know yet. I'm sure it's been leaked, but uh, I don't know. I haven't been keeping up with all that. But uh, this gun is very good at close range to medium range. Um, I mean, the range on the, this weapon by itself, you could take people out from a pretty good distance with this weapon. It's kind of like the HVK, you know. It's got the same damage, so you're going to be shooting what seems like about the same. The fire rate on this one is actually slower than the HVK-30, which is kind of surprising, but it is a submachine gun, so you're able to move quicker with this weapon, and so that definitely helps you out. And, um, yeah, you can definitely burst fire people from a long range and pick them off of this weapon, which is pretty cool about this submachine gun, that you, it has good range, because most submachine guns, you know, it's going to be close range, so it's going to be close to medium range, it's, it's, it's effectiveness, and I mean, not saying that this weapon is great at long range, just that you can definitely pick people off with this weapon at a long range before they can, which is awesome because that just makes this uh, submachine gun very versatile, and that's really what you want. You want you want to be able to take people out from close to long range with uh, like any of your weapons, and so that's why this is a very good submachine gun, and it is the first one that you get, surprising. And uh, on this gameplay, I'm only using a red uh, red dot sight. And not using quick draw or grip if it has, I'm not sure. But yeah, only red dot sight. And this is, see this range? Like, that's pretty good range for a, a submachine gun. And not these maps aren't super big, so submachine guns will probably take over, I think. Um, there are some pretty good assault rifles, don't get me wrong. But submachine guns in this game are going to probably be the bulk of the amount of weapons you use from what I've seen so far. Mo most of the people are using the CUDA, and I mean, I, I see why. It's a very good weapon. So, yeah, I don't really know how well I do this game. I think I went 27 in 10. And, uh, but yeah, so this is a very good submachine gun, and if you guys use this one, uh, put on the red dot side. I think that helps out pretty good. Uh, I mean, it's always your call, but Red Dot Side, I, I like it because the iron sight's kind of clustered. It's hard to see, and uh, I was having trouble seeing if I, I killed a person because I don't always see the plus 100 when I kill someone, so I just kind of shoot until I think they're dead, and with the Red, so red Dot Side, I'm able to see better. But, I mean, it's all up to you guys. Uh, quick Draw will be good with this weapon. Definitely, I didn't use it because, uh, you know, I didn't have it at the time. I didn't have this weapon leveled up all the way, but... Very fun weapon to use, and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. I don't want to talk and uh, just be annoying this whole time. So yeah, here's the gameplay. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more gun gameplays on the Black Ops 3 beta. I'm going to get as much as I possibly can. And that right there, guys, was the battery with the kinetic armor where hitting them in the body doesn't do anything. only way to kill them is a headshot while that is active. Alright guys, peace out. Don't forget to subscribe.